Yo, fellas. Man, this is like. This is like, uh, can't beat this. <laughs> no. You guys are out of control with this. A full size bed. <laughs> this is called ultimate camping. We'll find out how ultimate how when it starts raining, huh? Well, nah, you got, you got, you got quite a tarp on there. A couple of new friends invited me to Lakeland, Florida, telling me homeless folks are being arrested for hanging out at a church hey. revival. Hey, what's up, guys? Little did I know that I would get arrested myself by the church for trying to help, and soon I became part of their story, their struggle. This producer FedExed the camera, he said, Get everything on tight. Let me know what the crap's going on in that crazy place. You gonna put me on camera? No. You can put your hand on camera. You can you can draw faces on you it and do this. You can put me on camera. I've been on it, the oh. TV cameras when it was over there. Yeah. I'm yeah, not lining for anything, so. It's we're gonna okay. get we're gonna get little interviews. Right now I'm just shooting <sighs> random stock stuff, so we can have a montage with the theme song. Guys that live in the woods. Look at them, they're doing stuff. What do you do whenever it rains, Ed? You ever seen a... Get wet. <laughs> <laughs> How wet do you get? No, we go to Stephen Strader's church. <laughs> get <laughs> undercover. Yeah, so the sheriffs can run us <laughs> off. They can run us <laughs> off with a bottle of water. Oh, dear. <laughs> that happened, didn't it? You sure did. They bring you a bottle of water? No, no, we, we were, we had we were drinking a bottle of water. The sheriff's going we right there. We were laying there getting yeah. out of the rain, 3 o'clock in the morning. Here come three sheriff cars. They said, you guys got to move. We looked at them like, why? We're just trying to stay dry. Where was that? At a church? At the United Church. At the United Church. Don't they have a, an awning or a canopy or something? Yeah, yeah. underneath that roof by the door. Yeah. We were just laying there sleeping, trying to stay dry. <sighs> Ran us off 3 o'clock in the morning. We you troublemakers. Oh, we're just bad, bad people. Oh. <laughs> After I got bailed out of jail, I had to stick around the county for 30 days until my trial. In that time, people came from all over the United States to help. We spent time cleaning up the camp and doing whatever we could to get to know the residents and help them in any way we were able to. Mostly, we listened. You know what, James? We ought to just go stand by that no trespass sign with me right there. So you can read this? Because I'm with you, dog, all the way. I am. Did you enjoy that soup last night? Yeah, I ate every bit of it. Yeah, it was, it was, it was fancy cup of noodle. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, I made it home last night. And uh, I was up pretty late, sitting in the tent. It's gonna be all good. Oh yeah. How long have you been up here? Buzzy, how long have we been out in this woods? But we were over there longer. Come 16 years. Got ignited church right across the street, and there's the can't ignore the poor bus. So I essentially got arrested and kicked out of that church right across the street for parking my bus there and helping the homeless. But we found out someone who does have a heart for the homeless. <laughs> and it's the lovely people at the beverage castle. So liquor, proud sponsors of Can't Ignore the Poor and Jesus. Are you kind of. Yeah. I don't know the guy's name, to be honest. That's how crazy this whole thing is. He's uh, waiting to talk to the manager. 
thank them for letting them park the bus here when the church wouldn't. That's the manager right over there. There's your loyal liquor store customer. Since many homeless were being trespassed for being around the church, we decided to start having our own form of church out in the woods, where anyone and everyone was welcomed and everyone had a voice. Hi everybody, how are you doing today? Hey, God bless. Hey, God bless everybody. Hey, if you, if you died today, do you know that you'd be going to heaven? Absolutely. Come Absolutely. sit down, Jason, join us. Yeah. Come pull up a chair. Come if, up if, if God was to ask you why you should let you in heaven, what would you say? Alright, Rod and Howard Brown, we got you. Because you promised, there. man. Because you promised. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Lots of choices and stuff. I We all got a lot of good things to say. We all got a lot of goofy things to say. And we're all okay with each other, not really knowing what we're talking about half the time. That's why everyone talks. <laughs> that's why I'm done talking. I just, I want to know how you feel about any of that. I'll tell you what, we're sitting on sacred burial ground from Indians where we're at right now. My sister-in-law died right down here. My brother about died there, so I got him in the hospital. I never thought I'd be sitting here having church service like this on this ground. That's a fact. I think that's totally awesome myself. I do. I'm just an old tramp, an old street person, but you know, I think it's really cool myself. At least we still got enough freedom to do this. Absolutely. Well, you came here with nothing, and that's how you'll go. No money, no cars, or no fancy clothes. There were tears when you got here, and tears when you leave. And I don't know much, but this I believe. I don't know much, but this I believe. Pastor gave us half of his testimony about what he's been through, and then we all gave a little of our testimony, and and it was just you could feel the presence of God out here working on him, let alone the rest of us. Who's him? Who came out here last night? Pastor Dalton from the Gibsonian Baptist Church. Really? You really? He was... <laughs> you had a pastor come out just in the middle of the night. Out of the middle, about twelve thirty, one o'clock in the morning. What he brought? What he bring? Water. A whole keg of water. Right there. Oh, that... Baptist. Yes, sir. That's it. Where'd all those? Where did the canned food come from? Uh, different churches just bringing it by. Really? So there's yeah. been pastors and stuff just showing up. Pastors, police officers. Forest rangers, bikers, fire department, fire department, little um, kids, not people bringing their families out here. Not to run you off though, huh? Uh, not at all. <laughs> They're happy as can be. Man, these kids are running around and playing in the dirt and the fire, having the time of their life. Pastor Dalton's even going to bring his kids out here, the one that came yeah, last night. Yeah, that's what he said. Bringing his own children out here. And uh, it's just a blessing that, hmm. Good peanut butter. It's just a blessing that people are, are, are really not all bad. Not all people you know, don't see our version of what's going on, but it's really it's really pleasant. So it feel, feels like church a little bit, huh? It feels a lot like church. But it's not <laughs> or what it should be. But it's not we don't have like a $1,200 chandelier hanging in the foyer. <laughs> Doesn't mean we don't have a church out here. We're just normal people like anybody else. I don't want to go back into society. Because I... Uh, Kind of sucks. What if society looked a little bit like this? 
I'd love it. Then probably everybody would be here if they knew what it was really like, what really happened. If they were in the game, God's game, if they were in the game playing, they wouldn't be out there. Trust me. So you think it'd be a fun experiment to try to do something like this out there? Everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. We're heading back down the long, lonely road to Bartow, Pope County Jail. We're gonna go practice some releasing of the captives and get, get Tim, the guy that makes all these pretty things out. Bail, bail him out. In yeah, about eight no, hours, Tim will be out. Oh, that's yeah. phenomenal. In about eight hours? Yeah, about eight hours. What do you think, Ed? I just think it's awesome. What's that? Because I got friends. You got friends? Yep. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> Thought I was the police. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be at the mall, Ed? No. Why not? Because I raised Kane with the security guard in here, in Bozeman. Officer Bozeman. How long ago was that? It's been a while. Well, we ain't trying to make no money today. We're just going to eat some dang ice cream, Ed. Got Timothy out of jail. Got nothing to worry about. Tell me who's got the keys to salvation And who's singing songs for the weak Where does a man leave his soul when he sleeps Do you have any answers for me Do you have any answers for me La -da -da -da. La -da -da. I get really comfortable trying to help people you know, trying because I've been there and I'm still there. I'm, I'm not out of the woods, so to speak. I'm in the woods, but I'm not out of the woods. As long as I got something in my heart that I needed a long time with Jesus, can't go wrong. Am I the only one that wants to throw it all away? Is it good enough to do your best? What do I do with all these questions that I have? Like, can God heal this pain in my chest? Can God heal this pain in my chest? La -da -da. La -da -da. La -da 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 Just give thanks and be glad. Wow. 